Plantar fasciitis is incredibly complex. When patients come in the office with plantar fasciitis, a lot of the times the recommendations that they've been given are just doing some simple stretches. And I can guarantee you that if you truly have plantar fasciitis, just doing a few simple stretches are not gonna cut it. So we wanna take a, a multimodal approach to, to attacking this and tackling this. But first, let's have a little greater understanding about what this is to begin with. So your plantar fascia is the connective tissue on the under surface of the foot. So it goes basically from under the pads of the feet or the toes down there, all the way back to the heel. And it's this flat band of connective tissue that then attaches to the bottom of the heel bone. Then from the heel, it then forms the Achilles tendon that is the connective tissue that holds the calf to the heel. And because that fascia under the foot does not get a lot of blood supply, it can be easy to injure and slow to heal. And that's why there's a lot of different things, number one, that can cause it, but a number of things that need to be done in order to restore it. So stretching might be helpful in the short run. Rarely does that solve the issue. So a few of the things that we need to look at, number one is footwear. So if you're wearing traditional shoes that have a narrow toe box that cram the toes together and compress the foot together, and you don't get that proper toe splay, you're gonna be putting a lot of extra pressure on the bottom of the foot, on that arch of the foot, which causes that to collapse. And then what do people do? They get orthotics or inserts into their shoes, but that's like putting a cast on a foot for a really bad environment that you chose to put it in. It just doesn't make sense. Now, orthotics can be really helpful in the short run, but it's a crutch. It should only be used temporarily in order to help take some stress off of that fascia so we can restore the normal function of that. So what are some of the things that we look at? From the bottom of the feet, we wanna make sure that we have proper foot mobility. You have over 20 bones in the foot and they all need to articulate and move with each other. You need proper footwear to make sure that your toes are able to splay out and create the proper foundation. And then we need to connect to look at the entire kinetic chain moving up from there. How is the knee functioning? How is the hip functioning? How is the SI joint? How is the lumbar spine? And then all the way up through the alignment of the thoracic spine and cervical spine. Because if you lose that normal alignment, that is going to translate all the way down and how you carry your weight distribution. So doing things like wide shoes, foot mobility and strengthening exercises, specific chiropractic adjustments to restore the proper biomechanics of the spine, the nervous system, as well as the feet, and then using other types of modalities like extracorporeal shockwave therapy, which we are now offering in the office to help to support tissue healing and tissue regeneration and bringing blood flow to areas that need it in order to facilitate the healing process. We've had incredible success with people with plantar fasciitis in the office. And so there's, it's, a, it's quite of a complex thing that requires a wide range of things in order to treatment. But if you've been trying things for a while and you begin to lose hope, hope should not be completely lost because we've been able to help a lot of people that have really been struggling this for a while. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.